Many streamers are based on the UPnP or DNLA protocols, which means that you need to run a UPnP DNLA server program on a computer, server or NAS. You can use advanced and adaptable software to do this or use Firestream. UPnP, AV and DNLA do about the same and initially DNLA was close to UPnP, AV with a digital rights management layer added. In practice they are about the same and many devices and server software claim to be UPnP, DNLA compatible. There are different classes of devices like a controller, a server and a renderer and a device can contain one or more of these classes. In essence it works like this. The server software running on some kind of computer, server, NAS or dedicated device can be requested by the controller about the contents the server holds. When music, a video or photo album is chosen to be played, the renderer aka network player is instructed to get those files from the server and render them to the stereo, AV receiver or TV. So when you install a UPnP DNLA server you tell it where to look for the media. UPnP DNLA knows three kinds of media, music, video and photo. Most modern computers have standard folders for these groups so if that would be all you could have your nephew or handyman install it and you would be happy. Unfortunately things are more complex since there is no mechanism that solves file compatibility. If you have FLAC music files and your renderer doesn't support FLAC, like for instance the PlayStation 3, you have a problem. Now I don't believe you will use the PlayStation 3 as a serious audio player, but your kids might. Another example is my Panasonic TV that doesn't play all video files I have. Therefore many UPnP DNA servers can be set to convert certain content to a format that is supported by the renderer. But I don't do video and you always said that combining audio and video decreases the audio quality, you might say. That's true, although there, there might be exceptions. But here we are talking server software and potential problems will usually only arise in the renderer's hardware. Furthermore, it's not handy to have two UPnP DNA servers running, one for audio and one for video and photos. It can be done even on the same computer, but again that might have to be installed by an experienced person and the user has to choose between those two servers to access the content that he is looking for. UPnP DNA servers normally offer limited search fields for music, artists, album, genres and songs. You can also browse folders. That will be sufficient for all but classical music and perhaps some jazz. For searching on composers, director and participating musicians is not facilitated. More sophisticated UPnP DLA servers like Minim Server can be set to share a lot more info but is far from easy to set up. Filestream is the opposite of Minim Server and claims to be extremely easy to set up and use. It is only available for Mac OS and you do need version 10.10 .10 or higher and a 64 bit processor. It is not free, it comes at 15 euros something you will survive when it is what you are looking for, but why would you pay for a UPnP DNA server software and not download for instance the free PS3 media server, just to name one. Because if you use a standard Mac with the media on those places Apple has defined, you just install Firestream and you are set. Even if you have some of your media on external drives, that's easily set too, at least according to the developer. Plus it has profiles for popular renderers, predominantly video ones, so it knows when to convert a file to another format to be able to play it on that renderer. 
Detection should be automatic but also can be set by hand. So time to test it all. Firestream is available from the Mac App Store and thus will be installed automatically when bored. When started it will nest itself on the right side of the menu bar along with the Wi-Fi settings, the volume controls and so on. It will automatically index the music in iTunes or rather read the iTunes index and does about the same with all material in photo and in your video map. Adding a media map on your computer, external drive or network is as easy as opening a document. It automatically searches for UPnP DNI devices and lists them so you can set a profile by hand if you like. Of course you will normally not see this many devices, this is typically something for a tech journalist involved in a lot of network audio. A third menu allows you to set some options like what to do when you close this window and what to do when a new device is discovered. Windows computers come with UPnP DNA server facilities built in, while Macs don't. Filestream easily solves that problem and goes beyond the standard Windows facilities. I had no problems whatsoever using it, not only with the Sonora Micro Rendu and SOTM SMS 200 network audio adapters, both set to DNA renderers, but also with the Kodi on both Raspberry Pi 3 and Mac Mini connected over HDMI to my AV receiver and they worked fine for audio, video and photos. The same was true for my Panasonic Plasma TV. All devices worked fine taking their respective audio qualities in consideration of course. This is a fine solution for someone that has a Mac but no or little technical knowledge, that has more money than time or couldn't be bothered less about the tech but wants to easily and successfully see and hear his digital media outside of the Apple ecosystem. For those that heard me mention the SOTM SMS 200 network audio adapter, yep, the review is due soon. So subscribe to this channel or follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. You can also post questions but please don't ask me for buying advice. View my questions video to find out why. You'll find more information below this video and if you like this video please support the channel and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the hbproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.